Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So today I will show you guys how to lower the cost of usage of the AIOmatic plugin. So as you might know, it uses the GPT-3 API to write AI generated content. So the OpenAI's GPT-3 API. Currently it's a discounted price, go ahead and check in this video's description. So I will be showing you today how to use this shortcode of the plugin and how to reduce the cost of the shortcode usage. So let's create a new post and demonstrate this for you. So if you are using Gutenberg, be sure to use the text editor. So use the code editor instead of the visual editor to paste the shortcode here. So this will um, not allow the visual editor to change the shortcode in many, many ways if you paste it there. So let me write an example article, how to whiten my teeth. And also add this in the seed expression to tell the AI that, hey, I want to write an article about how to whiten my teeth fast. Okay. And also in this video, I want to talk about the static content parameter, which will, as I said before, allow you to lower the resource usage from OpenAI's GPT-3 API and to lower also costs. As if you set this to on, the plugin will not call this shortcode multiple times as users visit, but it will call it only once and it will actually replace the entire shortcode with the newly generated textual content. If you leave this at off, then the plugin will call this every day. I, uh, I need to check on this, but in the code I said that every day the plugin should generate a new content because I have a caching mechanism and every day the plugin generates a new content for the shortcode if you leave this at off. But let's set this to on this time and all we have to do is simply hit publish here. So publishing might take a bit if you are using Gutenberg. If you are using the classic editor then publishing will be working instantly. But if you are using Gutenberg publishing will work a bit because the plugin actually now renders this shortcode and it actually replaces the content because we set static content to on and it will actually replace this shortcode with our AI generated text. So afterwards, if um, everything works correctly and we have an API key entered in the plugin settings for open API here, and this API key actually has a valid subscription for open API's GPT-3 API, then we will get here a nice article generated about how to whiten my teeth because I added here in the seed expression this part. Okay, so we will have to wait a bit longer as publishing still is working in the background. However, soon this will be over and we will be able to check our article. Until then, I uh, leave the link for AIOmatic in this video's description. You will be able to check it there. So keep in mind that publishing might take longer if you have the static content set to on, as the plugin will need to update also this article's content with the AI-generated text that it is returned from OpenAI's part. Okay, so we should be closer now to finishing updating this and afterwards we will be able to check our AI generated article. I see that GPT-3 is quite uh, used currently as uh, loading times and waiting times for their API got up a bit and it is done so we can also refresh the post directly here and we don't see the shortcode anymore, but we see the post here and we can also check it on the front end. So here it is, how to whiten my teeth. I could have written this with capital letters, but it's okay. 
So there are a number of ways to whiten your teeth, professional teeth whitening, and so on. So this all is AI generated content. And if we refresh it, the content will stay the same as the shortcode disappeared. So if you leave the static content parameter of the shortcode to off, the shortcode will not disappear, but will keep um, on appearing instead of the text here in the Gutenberg editor and it will be dynamically rendered every day and every day you will get new content for the shortcode. If you don't want this, you can set the static content to on and you will get this nice static content which will not consume requests for OpenAI API, GPT free API each day. So yeah, this is the content of this video. If you have more ideas for updates, new features, video ideas, plugin ideas, anything you wish, leave me a, uh, tell me about it in the comments of this video. It's really appreciated. And yeah, until next time, this is all for today. Have a nice day. Bye bye.